Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't done one of these videos in quite some time and I thought what better time to do one than uh, we're transferring over from ice fishing into spring fishing. So um, what better video to make than I'm going to show you guys my favorite walleye spring baits this time. So today we're going to be talking about the walleye baits for spring fishing. If you guys do enjoy the video, we can also do a trout, a pike, a bass one for springtime. But today we're going to be talking walleye spring tactics. And before you guys leave the video, you guys might be thinking, why am I listening to an 18 year old talk about fishing tactics? If you guys watch the whole video, you might be able to learn a thing or two. So please do that, it'd be really appreciated. And um, hopefully you guys do learn some things in this video. So the first baits I will be talking about are jig heads. So my favorites to use are the VMC jigs. Most of the time I'll be using one eighth ounce. If it's a really windy day, I'll be using a quarter ounce, but I usually like to stick with the one eighth ounce jig heads. My favorite colors um, for springtime, um, right here, it is called the Parrot. And I also like to use this chartreuse and yellow color. Um, you can also use more of an orange color. It really depends on the fish's mood. You can try out different colors throughout the day as well um, and see what the fish are biting on. But I, I usually stick to those three main colors. And as I said, VMC jigs are also my favorite. I'll use Northland tackle jigs, more of a different a rounder head as well. Um, but jig heads do work really good springtime, tied up with a minnow, as lots of you guys probably do use that as your main walleye spring bait. But if you guys don't have any live bait, there's also a lot of tactics that will catch walleye springtime. And I'll go through those in a second here. So the next baits I will be talking about are swim baits. Now these are great for spring walleye fishing, casting them onto the rock shoals where they're spawning. They will love these swim baits. So I have a color here, this is the chartreuse. You can also go with a more natural color. Um, like a gray or we also have tons of different colors here um, depending on what the fish are feeding in your lake some more chartreuse um, more of a shiner color so it really depends what the feed is in your specific lake you can try and match the hatch or else go with a different uh, chartreuse type of color so these two techniques that I just talked about, the jigs and the swim baits, I'll be mostly casting and jigging with these. I don't do a whole lot of trolling in the spring just because most of the time those fish will be schooled up. And instead of uh, trolling past the school, you can just set up on them, anchor and cast towards the school, um, towards the shoals and stuff that they are spawning on. So yeah, you, that's uh, my first two techniques. And also, I'll show you guys a couple other swim baits that I like to use. These are Northland Tackle as well. Um, a very nice perch color here. There's quite a few different colors in here, but these are my two main favorites. This one has a nice curly tail. I like to use this one as well. And these are fantastic spring walleye baits. So now we'll get into more of the hard bait um, section. So these are one of my favorite crank baits for springtime. It's a perch color uh, scatter tail dancer 09. Caught a lot of big walleye on this um, particular lure itself. Has some great action in the water and it does really well casting and retrieving. I like to use a bait cast setup with these next couple baits that I'm going to be showing you guys and this one as well. So I'll play a couple clips right now catching some big walleye on this bait springtime and uh, so you guys can see how it works. What is it? It's a walleye. Woo! Oh, that's another really nice fish. Grab him by the... It's another gorgeous one. There he goes. Yeah, that's a big one. No, it's a bass. Holy cow! That's a nice walleye. Hey? That's beauty. On the crankbait. On the big Rapala deep diamond crankbait. Give me a big kick, buddy. There he goes. Another lure I love to use springtime for walleye are jerk baits. So there are many different types of jerk baits that you can use. There are shadow wraps, there's uh, deep, 
and then there's just the regular shadow wraps. Lots of different colors you guys can go through with these. Um, but casting these up, giving them hard twitches. The walleye will love that springtime. Um, and they'll be up shallower where jerk baits are very useful. And also husky jerks work fantastic. Uh, I don't have one with me right now, but I will keep one of those in my box for sure springtime. And as I said, so many different colors. You can use perch colors. You can use maybe more of a shiner color. Um, just depending on your lake as well. As we transition on, you know, late June into more of the summer months where the water heats up, I will use worms on my hooks instead of minnows. And instead of doing a lot of jigging and casting, I will mostly uh, go into a lot more trolling, depending uh, the time of day, evening, I will set up for a jigging bite. But throughout the day, you'll see me doing a lot more trolling with hot and tots and different type of deep divers during the summer. Um, just to try and find, see if I can find schools during the day. And then at night I will, you know, anchor for an evening bite. But these are my main spring tactics. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something out of these. If you guys want me to do another video, make sure to comment down below. Leave a like and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to go down below. Check out these beautiful sweaters, bbfishing.ca. If you guys are interested, it'll help out the channel a lot. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video.